Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan. In today's video, I am going to show you four ways to transfer contacts from iPhone to iPhone. With these four methods, you can also transfer your messages, photos, videos, music, and all the other files from one iPhone to another. So please watch this video till the very end as I will be explaining each method step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free, guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So, with that being said, let's get started. Our first method is using AirDrop to transfer contacts from one iPhone to another. First of all, enable AirDrop on both of your devices. To do that, swipe up. After that, tap and hold on one of these buttons. Then you should see an option called AirDrop. Just tap on it and make sure it's set to everyone. Now do the same thing on your other device. Next, go to the phone that you want to transfer contacts from. Now select the contact that you want to transfer. After that, you will have an option to share the contact. Just tap on it and wait for a few seconds until it finds the AirDrop enabled phone. So as you can see, here's my AirDrop enabled iPhone. So just tap on it. From your other phone, just tap on accept and then tap on save. That's all you need to do. With this method, you can only transfer one contact at a time. Our second method is using a third party software to transfer data from iPhone to iPhone. With this method, you can transfer every bit of your data from one phone to another. And the software I'm going to use is called Dr. Phone Switch. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. The software is available for both Windows and Mac. So just go ahead, download and install the software. After that, open it up. As you can see, this software is world's number one smartphone management software, especially designed for Android and iOS devices. With this software, you can do a lot of cool stuff. Like you can recover any kind of deleted files from your Android and iOS devices. You can transfer data between your phone and your computer. You can backup and restore your iPhone and Android devices to your computer. You can also remove lock screen from your iPhone and Android devices. And one of my favorite features of the software is Restore Social App. With this option, you can backup and restore your WhatsApp messages to your computer. You can also transfer your WhatsApp messages from one phone to another. Let's say if you want to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone or vice versa, you can do so by using this software. This software is not free though, you have to purchase it. So in order to transfer data from one phone to another, click on switch. Next, connect both your phones to computer with the USB cable. Once your phones are connected, just wait for a few minutes so it can load data from both of your devices. As you can see, on the right side, you have your source phone. Now, this is the phone that will send the data. On the left side, you have your destination phone. Now, this is the phone that will receive the data. So in my case, I'm going to transfer data from my iPhone 7 to my iPhone X. So I'm just going to click on flip and it's going to change the order. Now select the type of files that you want to transfer to your new iPhone. So I'm going to select everything. You can select whatever you want. So as I said before, with this software, you can transfer all your data except reminders and apps. That is the only missing feature of the software. Other than that, you can transfer everything. Before you start transferring, make sure this option is unchecked. If you check mark this option, this software will delete everything from your destination phone. So make sure it's unchecked. After that, just click on start transfer. If find my iPhone is turned on on your iPhone, then you need to turn it off in order to transfer data. If it is already turned off, then you don't need to do anything. In order to turn off find my iPhone, head over to your phone settings, tap on your account name, tap on iCloud and scroll down and select find my iPhone, which is currently turned on. Just turn it off. You can turn it back on when the transferring process is completed. Type your Apple ID password to turn it off. Once you turn off Find My iPhone, just click on OK. And the transferring process will begin. This process will take time depending on type of files that you have selected. And during this process, do not disconnect either of your phones. Just leave your phones as they are. And let the software do its job. OK, now the transferring process is completed. Now you should have all your selected files transferred to your new iPhone. Okay, once the transferring process is completed, you can disconnect your phones. As you can see, my files are already transferred including the wallpaper. So first of all, let's see on 
as you can see these are all the photos and these are the messages and more importantly the music as you can see these are the music that are stored on my this iPhone the third method is using SanDisk pen drive to transfer contacts from iPhone to iPhone this pen drive is usually used to transfer data between iOS device and computers but you can also use this pen drive to transfer contacts and other files from one phone to another this pen drive is available in different sizes from 16 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes i will leave the link of this product in the description below just in case you want to check it out so now let me show you how you can use this pen drive to transfer contacts first of all you need to install an app to transfer data between two devices so open up app store and search for sandisk ix pen drive and install this app on both of your devices so mine is already installed after that open it now connect this pen drive to your iphone once the app is opened tap on backup and restore at the very bottom now you have three options to backup and restore your data to this pen drive first option is backup and restore your photo gallery second option is backup your social media accounts and the third one is backup and restore contacts or calendars I've already made a detailed video about this product. You can watch that video by clicking on i button at the top right corner. Now select the third option from here. After that, tap on backup. Now select the context that you want to transfer to your new iPhone. So in my case, I'm going to select all. Okay, now the backup is completed. Now unplug this pen drive and plug it in your new iPhone. Give the permission. Okay, now go back to backup and restore, select the last option, this time use restore, do not choose backup. Here is your contact that you have backed up from your old iPhone, so just tap on it and tap on restore. Okay, now the restoring process is completed, now you should have all your contacts transferred from your old iPhone to your new iPhone, so let's see. As you can see, these are the contacts that were stored from my old iPhone. With this pen drive, you can also transfer your photos, videos from one iPhone to another. To do that, just go to this pen drive and tap on copy files. Now select the place where you want to copy files from. So in my case, I'm going to go and select the first option. Now select the photos and videos that you want to transfer. After that, tap on this red button. You can either save those photos to this pen drive or you can create a new folder and paste inside that folder. So I'm gonna paste it directly into this pen drive once it's done. Now connect the pen drive to your other phone. Once it's connected, tap on view files. And as you can see, these are the files that are stored inside this pen drive. Now select the ones that you want to save on your iPhone. So let's say I want to save these pictures. After that, tap on this share button. Then you should have an option to save the photos to your iPhone's camera roll. So here's the option. Just tap on it. And now photos are copied. When you go to your iPhone's camera roll, your photos should be there. As you can see, these are my photos. Our last method is using another pen drive to transfer contacts from iPhone to iPhone. And this pen drive is called SanDisk Wireless Stick. This pen drive is not a regular pen drive that you use on your everyday life. With this pen drive you can transfer data between three devices at the same time wirelessly. Okay, now let me show you how you can use this pen drive to transfer data between devices. First of all, you need to charge this pen drive. You can charge this pen drive with your computer or any charger that has USB port on it. Once it's fully charged, you can use it for 4 hours continuously. And it takes only 2 hours to be fully charged. First of all, install the app to use this pen drive with your iOS devices. Go to App Store and search for SanDisk Connect Drive. Here's the app. Install this app on both of your iOS devices. Once the apps are installed, now you need to turn on Wi-Fi from this pen drive. Just press this power button. And as you can see, now it's turned on. Now connect both of your devices to this pen drive. To do that, go to your phone settings, Wi-Fi, 
And here is the Wi-Fi which is coming from this pen drive. Just tap on it. Okay, once both of your phones are connected. Now go to the phone that you want to transfer contacts from. So in my case, I'm gonna transfer contacts from my iPhone 7. Here's how this pen drive works. First of all, you need to upload files on this pen drive. Once the files are uploaded, you can access those files from any device you want. So, as you can see, these are the files that are already stored inside this pen drive. First of all, let me show you how you can transfer your contacts. To do that, tap on this menu button, tap on settings and scroll all the way down. Here you have an option called backup under the contacts. Just tap on it. The process is similar to the last pen drive. Now select all the contacts, tap on backup. Once your contacts are backed up on this pen drive, you can either transfer it to another iPhone or Android device or you can save it to your computer for future reference. Now from other device, you need to restore those contacts. Okay, in order to restore the contacts, just tap on this menu again, go to settings, scroll down, tap on restore. Now you can see these are the backup files of your contacts. Now select the ones that you want to restore. In my case, this is the latest one. After that, tap on restore. Once the restoring process is completed, you will have all your contacts transferred to your new phone. So I'm just going to cancel it because I've already restored my contacts. If I do that again, I will have a lot of duplicate contacts. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel with notification on. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Wow.